What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Tony, and welcome back to another video. Alright guys, it is Sunday afternoon and I feel like I have not done that intro in quite some time. And I don't even really know why. I just have not been. But I'm gonna bring it back. Um, like I said, it's Sunday afternoon and I literally just finished washing my hair. Squeaky clean, you guys. Like I was in there for like a good 45 minutes just doing the most. I was um, cleansing and deep conditioning and doing all these things because my hair really, really needed it. I don't know what was going on with my hair for the last maybe week and a bit, but it was itchy AF and my skin, well my scalp is usually really dry, but I feel like last week, I can't say I was dehydrated because I know sometimes dehydration results in um, dry skin and itchiness and all of that stuff, but I wasn't dehydrated because I'm a girl that loves to drink water. So, I don't know what was going on, but I just knew that I needed to really do something with the scalp today, and so I did. So, I bought um, a deep conditioning mask, which was really, really good. Um, I let that sit in the shower for like 10 minutes. I literally brought my cell phone in the shower with me and propped it up and was watching a vlog while like my hair was marinating and stuff, um, which is wild. I know, I should have probably come out and just like let it sit in a shower cap or something, but I just opted to stay in the shower with the vibes. So now that it's clean, I'm just going to apply some leave-in conditioner. You guys know I've been loving the Chi line. And so I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner. And this is a keratin treatment. And then I'm going to follow up with the Silk Infusion, which is just going to give my hair some added shine. So that's literally all I'm doing. Oops. All I'm doing right now. After I do this, I'm just going to let it sit in my hair for a little bit and then um, I'll blow dry it. Because I don't know about you guys, but I hate blow drying my hair super wet. I feel like it's too much work when it's bone wet. Like, I just, I can't. So I usually just let my hair air dry for maybe an hour. And then I'll go in with the blow dryer because to me it's just, it's less work for me. I don't know. I guess de depending on like your hair texture and stuff like that, that will determine what you do, but I can't blow dry my hair wet. I will be literally in the bathroom for hours. Okay. Alright, that should do something. I know that I'm looking real crazy on here, you guys, but this is real life. So yeah. Um, I literally also have not been up to much this weekend. Um, the last clip you guys would have seen, which might even be the first clip, because I think before today, I don't even know what I all recorded. I just literally remember picking up my phone when I stepped out with Tegan to grab some ice cream. We headed to McDonald's to try their new McFlurry, and I think it's called a Squishmallow McFlurry. So it has like popping rocks in it and like a blueberry-ish glaze. And for some reason, I thought it had marshmallows, but it doesn't. But, um... We stepped out to grab that one night after dinner, and that was really good. I think that was Thursday night, honestly. Thursday night, yeah. And I literally haven't come back on here since. But I haven't done much, you guys, if we're being totally honest. I haven't picked up the camera. Um, I had a busy Saturday. I actually worked yesterday, and um, then when I got home, I did nothing. Tegan was out for the day, which was nice. So when I came home, I literally laid in the couch and chatted with my girlfriend then my brother and his girlfriend came by and hung out with me for a little bit and once they left i went to my bed <laughs> so that was my saturday night and this morning i got up really early and i had to do tegan's hair because she's out and about again tomorrow and um she wanted to do her hair in some mini twists because saturday we have a baby shower to attend and she likes to wear her hair natural i think i've told you guys that already so for us, if we give her hair like three to five days in a twist style and then pull it out, um, the staler the better for the look that she wants. So that's what I literally did this morning. We watched two movies. We watched this movie called Missing, which was really good. It came out sometime in March or April, um, but we watched it on our IPTV box. And Nia Long is in it. She plays the mom and she went missing and her daughter had to track her down. That was such an amazing movie. 
very well scripted very well done um it was yeah it was really good really well done so we watched that and then we also watched zoe 102 i think that just came out recently but that was also on our box so we watched those two movies while i was twisting our hair which helped pass the time and so that was my morning literally so Tay's now in her room passed out because she's tired from all the hair things and I still had to do my own hair. So that is all the hair for today. I cannot do any more hairs. <laughs> I mean, I still gotta blow dry mine, but that won't take much time, maybe like five, 10 minutes and then I'm done with myself. I'm not even gonna silk press it or anything tonight. I may just wake up early tomorrow and do that, but just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys. I feel like I did abandon you guys somewhat, so apologies for that in advance you guys i'm excited for my dinner because i don't have to make dinner my mom made dinner and she made stew peas and you guys know that i love me some stew peas my dad usually makes it for me every year for my birthday it's like my one request of him because it's my favorite jamaican dish um and my mom surprised me today with that so you know who's happy this girl <laughs> so i don't have to make dinner so i'm gonna just be lounging watching my reality trash tv later aka Real Housewives of Atlanta and eating my stew peas. Um, I also wanted to do some quick cleaning but I feel like I've done enough for today so I don't even think I'm gonna do that and I know that I'm on here rambling a lot but y'all know that I like to talk so sometimes you know I will be a chatty patty it's all good. I think the one thing that I may do and I may save it for tomorrow which would make more sense instead of today is that I found a recipe for Vietnamese iced coffee you guys. My sister-in-law put me onto this like two, three months ago and I've been obsessed since. And I found a really quick hack. Um, and I don't know why I didn't even try researching it before because it is something that I can make at home. I think why I haven't is because I have cut back on coffee a lot. Y'all know me and my caffeine intake. We've scaled all the way back. So I'm not drinking coffee like that at all. Um, and I haven't had it for a while. So I feel like I wanted to try to make it, but I feel like I also should have done that way earlier this morning because I can't be drinking coffee at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That just makes zero sense. So I think tomorrow morning before I head out to work, I will probably do that. And if I do, I'll share that with you guys because it is so tasty and very simple. And I just feel like I need to put everybody on now that I've been put on. <laughs> So that is it for today, you guys. Just wanted to come on here, say hello, say hi. Make sure y'all know that I'm still alive. And I will talk to you guys in the morning. Vibes and $9 later. Yeah, that was worth it. <clears throat> what is up, you guys? Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning and I'm heading into the office. And today is a caffeine cheat day for me, you guys. I literally woke up this morning just craving like some chai. So I stopped at Starbucks to grab something before I headed into the office. Today's gonna be a busy day for me, so I figured I'd come on here, chat with you guys a little bit. Um, I know I really wanna hold myself accountable, but I also have not had any caffeine in a while. And for those of you who don't know, chai does contain literally a high amount of caffeine. I really also wanted to do a breakfast sandwich, but I, um, I'm trying to cut my carb intake, so I don't know how well that would serve me right now because your girl is going on vacation in less than three weeks and I'm so excited. So I'm trying to like do my small part to make sure that I look somewhat okay in my bathing suits because you know us women love to complain about how we're looking in our fits, so I don't want to be like super bloated and feel like my stomach is just out of control, so I'm trying to kind of keep an eye on what I'm going to consume for the next couple of weeks since we're less than three weeks away. But um, like I said, I am going into the office and it is a busy work day. I have a couple meetings and just a lot to do. I also have to run to the mall real quick. Tegan is looking for a dress and I need to look for a shirt. Um, I'll share why probably in a later video, but right now that's literally all I'm getting up to. Y'all know the mount situation, so don't say anything, okay? Just taking the angles <laughs> because my arm is hurting. So I kind of have to move it around as I can just so that it's not super like heavy on one arm because I have the Canon M50 and even though it's a small camera, it's bigger than the um, G7X, but it's weighty, like there's weight to it. So after like a few minutes, your arm will start to hurt and I don't have my little tripod with me this morning either. So it's me and my arm and my arms aren't arming like they should. 
and I know that's also because I haven't really been in the gym like I used to be so my like yeah my body composition is just not it my strength is literally gone but um yeah just checking in with you guys this morning hope you guys are having a happy Tuesday wherever you're at don't even know if you guys will be watching this on a Tuesday but it's Tuesday for me Sometimes I really wish that these videos could be in real time for this purpose because it sucks that a lot of times you guys are getting information after the fact. So if like a moment is, is happening or an experience is happening, it's like a week or two before you guys will even know about it. So I feel like this is my past self speaking to your future selves, you know? <laughs> but anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay guys, so it is approximately 4.16 and I'm done work for the day literally just parked outside walmart right now because i'm here to pick up a gift for my cousin her baby shower is this saturday and i have yet to pick up my gift i was on her registry earlier just kind of going through and seeing what everybody else had already selected because all her big name items went really quick which is nice it shows that she's really loved and appreciated um well her and her husband are loved and appreciated so i'm just here to grab something real quick for myself and my brother I'm going to end up getting her a diaper genie and the refills because that's on there and that hasn't gone yet. And I feel like every mom needs that because nothing worse than stinky diapers in the garbage. So I'm going to grab that. My brother asked me to grab something while I was here for him. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like the bottle warmer or something like that for him because he said he didn't care. He's like, just get something so that he could slap his name on it. So that's why I'm at Walmart right now. It does unfortunately look like it's going to rain too. I'm sitting here in the parking lot. Um, I was just listening to some music actually before I went in. Um, and yeah, the clouds are looking really gray, which is not good because I don't really want it to rain today, if we're being honest. I had promised Tegan to take her down by the lake. So if it rains, that's going to ruin our plans for tonight. Yeah, it's saying 100% chance of rain at 5. Then it jumps down to 60% for 6 and 7 and then 30% for 8 o'clock. So I feel like no matter what, it's probably going to rain, which is going to suck. Ugh. But yeah, that's what we're getting up to right now. I'm going to head in, grab the gift, and yeah, that's it. There's also a Carter's Across the Plaza, which I may pop into just to see what baby clothes they have. But yeah, let's get inside. All right, so I think this is the one I'm going to get. Good morning, you guys, and happy Thursday. It's Thursday morning at 10.51 a.m., and I'm just getting ready to head out. I'm just waiting for Tay to get ready. We're gonna go do some grocery shopping, but first we're gonna grab some breakfast. Tegan wants to hit up Starbucks to grab some things, so we're gonna do that for her. And then we're just gonna go and grab some groceries because there's nothing in the house and we're short on everything. So I just did my list this morning, as you guys know, you guys know I love my lists. Tay, it's okay. You want me? No, I'm just gonna put my cups on. Yeah, no problem. So you guys know I love my list, so I have it. That way I don't go into Walmart with just vibes because that is bad for us. And then there were also some personal things that I needed to get, like I needed to get a new eyebrow pencil, I needed razors, um, I needed some additional toiletries and all that good stuff, so. In addition to the groceries, I'm going to grab a few things from there as well. And I do have to stop at another grocery store to pick up um, some produce and maybe some fish. I think I want to do salmon for dinner tonight and I need to get some stuff for that. And I think I may have shared this with you guys already, but I don't always get all my um, groceries in one location. I go to Walmart for like the main things and then I go to a specific grocery store for produce. And then sometimes I'll also go to the West Indian grocery store where... I can get all my Jamaican goodness <laughs> because the regular grocery stores don't always carry that stuff. So sometimes when it's a grocery day for me, I'm really hitting up like three or four spots, um, depending, because this isn't something that I do like weekly or bi-weekly. Like if I go to the Jamaican store, I really only need to go maybe like once a month, max twice. Um, and then Walmart, maybe I'll go once a week. So, you know, it varies. But that's what we're getting up to today. The weather looks pretty crappy outside. I think they're calling for rain, which is really unfortunate. That actually sucks because even though summer is winding down, like most of us want to make the bit, make the most of the last bit of it. And this weather is just not cooperating. So it's going to be another wet day. 
so that's what we got going on this morning if you guys see me playing with my hair a lot this morning it's because it's kind of dry and i need to wash it i have my cousin's baby shower on saturday and this is the unit that i want to wear but i'm trying to calculate if i can wash it tonight and then have it dry overnight and blow it out tomorrow and straighten it so that it's ready for saturday because i don't know how bad it does or doesn't look on camera but it's kind of dry and the ends are trashy now i had curled it like a while ago and you can see like the little dimple at the end from the curls but i'm thinking i need to like revive it for the showers so if you see me playing i mean usually i play with my hair a lot anyway but i've just been like going a little bit od with it because it's just dry i don't know to me anyway yeah but this hair quality has done the most i've had this unit since march and she is doing great I'll link it down below if you guys want to order one. Um, this is a kinky, yakky uh, U-part wig, and I believe it's 24 inches or 22 inches. Um, and my mom had gotten this for me for my birthday. Um, shout out to you, mom. Um, but it's still going strong and just really good quality. I was saying to her that I think from now on, I don't think I can go back to buying Brazilian bundles for straight hair. Only because when you straighten the yakky hair, it gives you more of a natural black girl texture versus the Brazilian being a little bit more silky. The Indian is not too, too bad. Um, I don't know, it's hit or miss because some people say the Indian is silky, some say the Brazilian is silky. I don't really know, I just think it depends on the vendor because in my opinion, it's all fabricated hair anyway, but the Yaki seems a little bit more raw and looks a lot closer to like a black girl's hair texture. Because as you can see, if you don't straighten it out, the, this is how it'll look in its raw form. It has these like, crimps or like these dimples in it um and even though i straightened it what happens is when it's humid kind of like black hair the little um wave patterns will come back but i'm not like i'm not upset with that or mad at that because it gives it more of a natural look like yes the average black girl doesn't walk around with 24 inch hair but there are some that have naturally long hair um so you know it just the texture is a lot more realistic to me I don't even know why I, went on, why I went into a rant about hair, but that's my two cents. Anyways, let's get out of here before I stay here rambling on and then we're late and all the things because I got to go out later and so I want to make dinner early. So yeah, I think when we get back from the grocery store, I'm just going to make dinner as well just to get it out of the way. So I will talk to you guys at Walmart. All right, guys, so we're back home, and it is many hours later. Not many. I'm being dramatic. Two. It's 1.15, and I'm going to share a quick haul of what I picked up. This was just a light haul. Nothing crazy, nothing exciting. It's just basically everyday essentials that we need and use in the house. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay, so I got paper towel. I got some corn. I got kale. I know you can't really tell, but it's in like a little bag, so that's what's in here. I got two green apples because I plan on doing a little bit of juicing. I've been inspired to juice a little bit more than I do. So I got two green apples because I'm going to do this with some ginger, some pineapple juice, and probably some cucumbers. I got broccoli. I got bananas. I got some McCain fries. I also got some salmon, which is what I'm going to make tonight for dinner. I got some chicken breast. I got a whole chicken, bacon, some frozen fruit. I got the Tropicana pineapple mango, and I also got this in strawberry peach. You guys know I love this drink, so we got four bottles of these. I got Activia yogurt because this is literally the only yogurt that I eat, and I love these with my yogurt bowls. I try to do my own little thing, and so I'll do like blueberries, some yogurt, and some granola. And yeah, I just love Activia. I got Nutella for Tay. She's obsessed, so she puts this literally on everything. If this girl could smother it on her life, she would, but <laughs> she's currently obsessed with Nutella, so I pretty much buy this like once every three to four weeks. Like she goes through it pretty quickly. I got shredded cheese. I got some Oreos. You guys know that I have an Oreo jar, so we keep that stacked all the time, so I had to refill it. Some peppermint tea. Tegan picked up some Cheez Its. I picked up some salsa con queso, or queso, I guess I should say. <laughs> um, and I have this with these whole grain chips. These. So I love these. 
Um, don't eat them that often, but sometimes I do, and when I do, I need it with this. Tay loves it with the dip, but I like it with the cheese instead. So yeah, also got some chips. Now take and pick this up. It's smoky bacon chips. Um, have no clue what this is going to taste like. Not really interested in tasting it, but this was Tay's pick, so <laughs> this is what she got. And last but not least, we picked up some um, Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. So we've never done this one before, but um, it should be good. They said that it's made with... Um, Cinnabon cinnamon, so I don't know if that means it's gonna taste better than the original Pillsbury um, Cinnamon rolls, but yeah should be good. We're gonna probably do this for dessert later or tomorrow, but That's literally it. Okay, so that was my haul you guys of everything that we picked up um, I didn't leave anything out. That's literally all I got because like I said These are the essentials. Um, I just wanted stuff to get us through the week The only thing that is missing is some additional meat so I don't know exactly what I showed you guys, but I did pick up some chicken thighs. I picked up a whole chicken. I picked up some chicken breast, and then I picked up the salmon. Um, and then I got a bit of vegetables and then snacks and stuff. So that'll hold us for about a week. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to put everything away now. Take a little nap because I'm tired. And then later on, I need to wrap the gifts for my cousin's shower. And then, like I said, I'm heading out this afternoon. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap this video here and I will see you guys on Wednesday because I think y'all are watching this on Sunday. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday for, um, probably a weekend vlog. If not, it'll be a spend the day with me. Don't really know how I'm going to do that yet, but either way, I'll see you guys on Wednesday.